All right, I've just discovered something really insanely awesome that you can do in Zotero. So here is my Zotero window, and the first thing I'm going to do is jump off the screen and go to Zotero Preferences. And so in Zotero Preferences, you've got a lot of fun stuff, and in Search, there's PDF indexing, and there are two little plugins that need to be installed. So if you don't have them, it'll be an Install Plugins button right here. So you just check it click it and they install in like two seconds. So after that, you go into your library and you start selecting your PDFs. And I'm gonna select a bunch here. Let's see, do we have any up here? I'm just grabbing at random here. So it doesn't do every PDF because obviously there won't be metadata for every PDF. So I just want enough to, have to ensure that something comes up. I've got some duplicates in here. All right, so we've got a bunch of PDFs selected. So now we're going to right click and retrieve metadata for PDFs. So what this does is it scans Google um, Scholar for the PDF, that someone's linked to this particular PDF somewhere, and then it uses their citation to generate your meta, to, to, for your metadata. So it's going to scan. So what it's doing right now is scanning Google. Oh, there's one. And there's one. Oh, yeah, I didn't. So not all of them are um, scholarly references. So not all of them would be found on, um, not all of them would be found on Google Scholar somewhere, but some of them might. That's, this, that's my, you can see it just sort of filling in. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I can have it actually my document. Anyway, so that's pretty much the tip. Zotero comes and saves the day again. So I use um, this lovely tool to organize all of my uh, all of my references and resources. One of the things I love about it is it saves all the PDFs local onto the whatever machine you're on, and then it synchronizes both between machines. It also synchronizes, you can back it up to the cloud. So all of your research, um, all of your references are safe in the cloud. And if they disappear from the internet, you have a PDF copy somewhere. Alrighty, well, that's all I got. I'm gonna let this thing run and then go through and run it one more time and see if I can't get as many metadatas, as many PDFs to download their metadata as I have. And I've got quite the large library, so It'll take a little time. Anyway, hope this helps, and I hope that this encourages you to download Zotero and organize your articles and your collection of resources and references.